हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल सी द वन मोर टॉपिक ऑफ मेजर्स ऑफ डिस्पर्शन लास्ट टाइम वी सी द रेंज एंड को एफिशियंट ऑफ रेंज एंड टुडे विल डिस्कस द क्वार्टर डेविशन एंड को एफिशियंट ऑफ क्वार्टर डेविशन वी नो वेर वेर द क्वार्टर्स देर आर द्री क्वार्टर्स इट मीन द फोर इक्वल पार्ट ऑफ द डेटा इट शो दर्टाइज इट्स अवन Q2 and Q3. The Q3 is considered as the median. So that's a deviation. We know that the deviation it shows the difference variations of observations. So to find the deviations, we use the extreme quartiles. That means Q3 and Q1. That is the concept. But in short, we know that the difference of a quartiles it shows the dispersions of observations and Use of a quartile deviation it shows the middle fifty percent of the observations. It shows the difference is twenty five percent. Here the twenty five percent and its total is the fifty percent. So dispersions of the fifty percent, the extreme values are not considered in quartile deviations. So to find the quartile deviations and coefficient of quartile deviations, we will see the examples of ungrouped data or Discrete frequency from group data. So there are the observations 19, 25, 35. All observations are given here. Now 19, 25, 35, 10, 24, 8, 12, 5, 20, and 30. So first to find the quartiles. First to find the quartiles, we know when we arrange the observation in ascending order. So let's we'll see the arrange observation. Arranging the observation in ascending order. See. The first so lowest value is nineteen, twenty-five, thirty-five, ten, eight, twenty-four, eight, twelve, and five. Okay. So first one digit. There are the two digit. Two numbers having only one digit. So the five and eight. And the smallest number of two digit is ten. We know very well eight, ten, eight, ten. Now. The next, see the twelve. Now twenty, thirty, twenty-four, thirty-one, and nineteen. Next twenty. Then twenty-four. Now twenty-five. And thirty. And thirty. Five. See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then that we have tell. We have telling that all observations is considered in arranging the order. Now to find the Q one, we know the formula Q one is equal to value of n by four observations. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. N plus one. N plus one by four observations. So the value of ten plus one divided by four observation. So ten plus one is eleven divided by four, and it's a two point seventy fifth observation. Now to find the two point seventy fifth observations, to find the two point seventy fifth observations, first, second, third, and fourth, that's between two and three, between two and three. If you know the formula, that's two point seventy five. So two point seventy five, that means the second observation, second observation plus point seventy five. Third observation minus second observation. So second observation is eight. Second observation is eight plus point seventy five into the second third observation one two and three. The third observation is ten minus second observation is eight. So eight plus point seventy five into ten minus eight two and eight plus point seventy five into two. 1.5 and the answer is 9.5. It's a pure. 
clear that's the value of q1 is equal to 9.5 the value of q1 is equal to 9.5 so and i have q1 is equal to 9.5 now i find the q3 i find the q3 see the q3 is equal to now q1 9.5 now q3 is equal to 3 into bracket the value of 3 into n plus 1 by 4 observation so we have already calculated n plus 1 by 4 the value of n plus 1 by 4 is equal to 2.75 so 3 to 2.75 3 into 2.75 is 8.25 observation that's 8.25 75 is the 2.25 or 3 to the 6 6 plus 2 8.25 so, so we have had the 8.25 observation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9 This is the which way That is the value of Q3 So find the 8.25 Q3 Then the 8th observation Plus 0.25 9th observation Minus 8th observation So 8th observation is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 8th observation is only 9 observation. So, 8 observation is 25 plus 0.25. 9 observation is 30 minus 25. So, 25 plus 0.25 into that is 30 minus 25, 5. So, 25 plus 0.25 into 5. So, 1.25. So, 25 plus 1 is a 26.25. That's a very simple calculation C has. So again 8 observation, so 8 observation is 25, now 0.25, 9 observation is 30, minus 8 observation is 25, 30 minus 25 is equal to 5, so now 0.25 into 5 is equal to 1.25 and 25 plus 1.25, 26.25, so Q3 is equal to 26.25. Okay, now we will find the fertile deviation and coefficient of fertile deviation. So, the value of fertile deviation, sorry, formula. Fertile deviation QB is equal to Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. So, Q3 is equal to 26.25, sorry, 26.25 minus Q1, 9.5 divided by 2. So, 26.25 minus 9.5. That's 16.75 divided by 2, 8.375. That's the answer is 8.375. It's solar QB. And now coefficient of fertile deviation. So coefficient, coefficient of fertile deviation is equal to Q3 minus Q1 divided by Q3 plus Q1. Is equal to so Q3 minus Q1 is 16.75. Q3 minus Q1 is equal to okay, this 26.25 minus 9.5 divided by 26.25 plus 9.5. So 16.16.75 divided by 26 plus 9. 26 plus 9 35. 35.75 and so the coefficient of fertile deviation coefficient of fertile deviation so the value of coefficient of fertile deviation is equal to 0 0.4685 0 0.4685 so we can say this is 0.4p7 that's a very simple to work easy hai, but calculation hai aap hai you first fertile find karne honge then do fertile Derivation and coefficient of fertile derivation. That's a very simple. Now we'll see the one more example of a discrete frequency distribution. See the one example of frequency distribution. Now, first we find the CF also. That's a SI or FI. Discrete frequency is there. That's a 3 plus 12, 15. 15 plus 18. That's a 33 plus 12. 45 plus so n is equal to when the submission f is equal to n is equal to 50. Now to find the first quartile, that's very simple. Q1 is equal to value of n plus 1 by 4 observation. Yahan to is direct answer mein lene wala hai. n is equal to 50 plus 1. One time we have let 50 plus 1 divided by 4. n is equal to 51 divided by 4. So 